Hi guys. So um, thanks so much for all the supportive comments on my previous video. You guys are awesome, and uh, and it really helps me a lot um, during these hard times for bears uh, to to keep uh, my hat um, cool and stick to my guns. But um, also it's of course important to adapt to the situation just in case. So I have the both scenarios here. Huh? Um, in case the bull started and in case we do uh, find a new bottom, which I think personally is still the most likely. But if the bull started, um, you always have a good chance, a high chance for serious retracements uh, as it goes up, especially in the beginning um, uh, of the market, because even today, uh, if indeed the bull has started, then we are still in a sideways market here. Uh, if we look at the past, um, in 2014, we also had a bear market that went one year, uh, and then we had a sideways movement of also close to one year, um, three quarters of a year. Uh, and then we had a sideways movement that was slow. Sorry, upwards movement that was slow, um, but still undervaluation went up over time. So if indeed the bull started here, and, and this line is almost near the um, trend line now, um, then still we're in a, a period where very likely we have a sideways movement, not a, a slowly upwards movement just yet, but a sideways movement in fiat prices. And so uh, we're going to get very likely back close to this these prices. Eh? But let's let's take worst case and let's say that no, we, we are already out of the sideways movement, which would be like against all odds. And we have already started a slow upwards um, upwards um, movement here. Uh, but we stay about at the same time of the of the of the trend line. Uh, uh, then still um, we're in for a pullback eh? because we. Uh, went uh, very close to the trend. I was almost there with uh, only minus 10% undervaluation now. So, 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 so even then we should stay about at, uh, uh, we will co uh, continue slow growth, but we will stay at minus, uh, we went to minus 50% uh, um, basically. And so we stay around minus 50% from the trend line. Um, uh, and that's how we slowly go up. And even then uh, you need a pullback. Huh? So, so, so it's so, extremely unlikely that we go into overvaluation from here and we stay into overvaluation that you don't want to bet any money on that <laughs> that's really a bad bet to take so um uh, but the bull can have started and we have to take the worst case scenario here because in the long term at current prices crypto is and I'm, we're talking about five years here and not of two years is still a great investment and you don't want to get left behind so if you take the worst case scenario uh, and, and we start the bull market that um, uh, is not going sideways anymore, but is already following a trend line, um, then still uh, we need a pullback. And um, how much is the question? Well, to five thousand US dollars is very reasonable. Uh, if the top is indeed around eight thousand now, eight thousand two hundred. Um, I don't know much about Fibonacci, but I heard that. Uh, is a point uh, six eight or something uh, will bring you back to five thousand uh, forty thirty to forty percent correction, which is very very uh, likely. Even in bull markets that go up uh, in the beginning slowly and at the end fast, you do get after major uh, parabolic runs a correction of this kind. Eh? So this is extremely likely, even in the best case scenario where we have started. A parabolic run uh, and market is already uh, uh, creeping upwards following the trend line so 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 if you made mistakes in the past as i, I have uh, and you're not yet at the majority invested majority exposure as i do i'm only 46 percent invested i should have invested uh, 70 percent uh, at the bottom before but uh, I didn't do, I actually did that, I, I went, but I did it. I made some mistakes here. The end result is that today I'm only 46% invested. I should have be now about 80% or 90% be invested. If you go to 70% here right now, you're like 80, 90%. That's where I should be, but I'm not. Huh? 
so 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 um i do have to uh put that in order uh to go to majority exposure even in the worst case scenario where we start a strong bull and so my target are these prices for bitcoin cash uh ethereum and bitcoin btc uh if you want to buy in these prices are likely to, to be hit again and uh and will allow you to correct your mistake if you still did not go to a majority exposure but a majority exposure uh, that can be uh 51 percent or uh or 90 percent that's a personal uh, opinion and um it also depends on people only one vest 10 percent of their total capital in crypto others 50 others 100 others only one so so it depends on how much you want to invest in crypto and from that uh you take the majority that you do want to get invested just in case but um we still need to take into account that in the best case scenario here we will very likely see this a sideways movement and with that i mean um uh, sideways compared to the trend line not in fiat huh? so 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 e even if the bull has started what you see is that undervaluation will come back. So this is 2011, 2011. You had a strong correction, went under the trend line. You went above it shortly, but then back below it. It looks like we're in that scenario right now. And we are, we are almost at the trend line now. Um, we probably will go back away from it. But this is still a strong, even though it's the bear market, and it will take another year before the all-time high of $30 here is breached again. Uh, this is the early days in 2011 it went from like 0.1 dollar to 30 dollars and i corrected to two dollars uh and then it went to ten dollars sideways up on 10 and then uh, to 30 and, and and a new bubble but um even in this scenario you see that undervaluation so the thread line undervaluation compared to the trend line goes up over time even though there's a strong upwards price movement here the trend goes up even faster and so the, the undervaluation goes up over time that's even the case in the in the early the, the first bub, uh, bear market uh, it's also the case in the second bear market where uh, uh, prices uh, even when they start to go up uh, go up slower than the trend line so this is very likely going to be the case again and we can see the trend line here uh and, and, and over time this trend line actually becomes more and more correct because uh there is this interesting gif here uh which is shown at so this trend line here um so it's an animated gif it's very good because it shows from the start here you see as the trend line as the as more price data comes in bull through bull and bears you can see that the trend line changes over time but it always becomes more stable. Huh? Uh, you can rewatch it again from the start here. In the start, it, it, it's much more higher. It goes down, future prediction, then it goes back up with a new bull market, then it goes back down with a new bear market, uh, and then we had a new bull market, so it goes back up again, and a new bear market a little bit down. But you can see it, it becomes more and more stable over time, and, and, and that's just uh, really, really cool because it shows that accuracy com becomes better over time. Huh? Um, and, and, and this trend line is very, very, um, very important um, uh, to predict future prices. Uh, it makes a lot of sense um, uh, that, that cryptocurrency will grow uh, in this, uh, at this rate, slower and slower over time. Uh, the market cap as you need to tenfold it's much easier to tenfold from nothing than from a lot huh? so so it's logical that it will take longer over time to increase in market cap you see that with any uh any 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 fast any grow any growth of any company uh the higher the market cap becomes the slower the growth is um so uh, and also uh, the longer the cycles become people talk about four year cycles in crypto, uh, that's just non-existent. There, is, there, there has never been a four-year cycle in crypto, maybe once maximum. Huh? The cycles are very visible here uh, from uh, boom, bust, huh? 
That's one cycle. Boom, bust. That's a very short one in the beginning. Boom, bust. A lot longer. Huh? How many years? Is one year up, half a year down. Two years up, one year down. Three years up, and we're now one year down. Since then it's up, but it could well be that three years up, one and a half year down, that's still possible, but only one year down now. But um, the cycles become longer over time, so it's only logical that this pattern will continue. Not certain, but most likely that this pattern will continue as market cap indeed has gone up a lot since uh, the last uh, bubble. Um, so, and, and uh, patterns uh, are most likely to continue than to break. So, um, but why? Uh, uh, so, so if, even if the bull started here, eh, like for example in 2011, eh, you can say yes, the, the bear, the bottom was reached. Eh? The bull has started after such a strong rebound. Eh? Same, same as what many people say today. Eh? Okay, but even in that case, uh, you see that undervaluation goes up over time, and it takes actually a long time before you go back into overvaluation. Uh, uh, here, for example, it hit overvaluation, but it went back down and stayed down. How long does it take? Actually, it, takes, it took one year here. That's the same as the bull market. The bull market took one year, half year bear market, and it took another year, one year, to have a, a sideways movement compared to the trend line. The same here, the bull market was how long? From bottom till top is two years. The bear market was one year and the sideways movement was two years. So the, the sideways movement again was uh, the same as the bull market before. So how long was the bull market now? From bot, top, uh, bottom till top is three years, one, two, three. So the sideways movement, even if this is the bottom, will likely be three years. Huh? That's one, two three this is 20 the start of 2022 um sideways movement but you can calculate it different also you could say yeah but let's count from the bottom how long uh, is the sideways movement uh, and, and, and in this case uh, um it's, uh, it's, it's uh, for example, uh, this is the bottom, it's two years. And two years was the same as the bull market here. Huh? But you could make the case that actually, if this was the bottom here, then the, bull, the bear market was shorter than previous bear market. The previous bear market was one year, but the bull market was two years. Now the bull market was three years, but the bear market was also only one year. So... That means that maybe things are going faster today. Eh? Maybe it's true that people are becoming smarter over time and are front running the market, uh, and, and 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 therefore we see quicker the bear market fully uh, uh, play out. But we will also see quicker the bull market play out. You could make that case here, and actually that is the case. If if this was indeed the bottom, then indeed that's the case. Eh? Uh, but um, let's say that's the case. Uh, and this was the bottom, then how long will the sideways movement take? Uh, well, uh, <clears throat> not the same time as the bull market then, uh, as this pattern is broken. Uh, but it will take uh, the same time as the speed that we have noticed here. Uh, we have noticed that uh, it's only one year and it's supposed to be one year and a half. Bear markets take normally half the time of bull markets, but that was not the case here. Three-year bull market, but only one-year bear market. That means it's only 33% of the time now. Uh, and so that means the sideways movement will also be only 33% of the time. Uh, and, well, that means it's not three years. It's only going to be two years. And that means that we don't have to wait till three years, till the start of 2022 uh, for the sideways movement to play out but only to 2021. So that means in December of 2021, two years after the bottom was found, that was in December 2018, we will see the bottom of the sideways movement. And we will see, uh, like we saw here, undervaluation go up over time, but a little bit. Huh? And the last point will be in December of 2022. Huh?
and so that's here somewhere huh? um and how much will we go well it's always higher and we went to minus 50 percent so likely we will see minus 60 percent if we estimate modestly in two years so what does that give us minus 60 percent in two years at that moment in time the trend line will have gone up from the current 262 billion to 750 billion you, you deduct 60 percent you're at 300 billion if market caps market shares stay about the same which is likely in a sideways movement then uh bitcoin in one and a half year from here will be at ten thousand huh? that's where we almost are today huh? this is uh this is the best case scenario. Huh? I think that, 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 that speaks, how do you say that? Uh, volumes, it speaks volumes. Then in two years, or one year and a half from here, we are expected to be at 10,000. Huh? That's very bad news, of course, for those that are today investing at 8K. If you're gonna be in two years only at 10K, very likely, even though it may go higher in the meantime, very likely it will go a lot lower also in the meantime so um and this is the best case scenario so but okay so so that means if you buy if you if you buy with a, a big margin of safety and you assume that the bull market has started and you buy, buy on a correction that will likely happen soon since we had such a parabolic move and uh, these things go very quickly and that could already be in two weeks or in one month we will see that strong correction to 150 billion market cap and you do buy at 5k uh, or at two, uh, 200 for bitcoin cash or 120 for Bit uh, ethereum you will be happy in the moment but even if the bull market has started it will take two years to see I mean, uh, no, I mean, this will be a low probably and it will go up from here, but you will not have major gains in two years. Huh? No, huh? Uh, it will go up a lot, then it will go down again. Uh, uh, I mean, probably will overshoot this. Uh, so at first you're in losses, but okay, over time you'll sit in profit uh, and that's the best case scenario here. Uh, so modesty is really recommended here uh, and buying the current prices uh, of 400 uh, is doomed to be a loss position uh, over the next uh, two years that's the best case scenario but i i i think that um that that that, that, that it is still very likely that we see a new bottom um and why do i think that Well, because, because the trend line goes down over time, because growth of the crypto industry goes down over time, and market cycles become longer over time. These are two very strong facts of the past. that this pattern breaks because of arguments like oh the market is becoming smaller is very uh, uh, is becoming smarter and is, uh, is front running and therefore uh, making cycles faster is a very weak argument uh, uh, against that uh, but okay huh? uh, in the game of odds there is always a small chance for something like this to happen but the biggest chance is that this pattern will continue that first of all growth goes down over time and that market cycles become longer over time and that means that that means that this pattern that we have see here is actually very likely to continue and the pattern here is that overvaluation goes down over time it, uh, compared to the trend line overvaluation goes down over time anyway, first thousand percent overvaluation 950 730 and each bubble it was less 
and undervaluation compared to trend line goes up over time. This is what happened in the past and very likely to continue. And so in the best case scenario, we can only go to minus 60% undervaluation if the bull market has started. But this is very unlikely because it is not very unlikely. It is just unlikely huh? because um, that means that we will never reach an undervaluation that's higher, for example, than the previous bear market. Um, and um, uh, 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 or it will be s similar to it. That's still possible. But in, it's not possible because if we go to 69% undervaluation here uh, somewhere, uh, um, uh, you change this to uh, uh, not uh, in, in best case scenario that a bull started, we still go to minus 70% undervaluation uh, in, in two years. Uh, it's, it's technically possible, but it, it would mean that prices are actually lower than they are today after a sideways movement that does go up slowly over time, it's a contradiction. It, it's, it's, not, it's, it, it's not a sideways movement. If prices are lower in two years, uh, a, a sideways we mean following the trend line. So, so you can't reach minus 70. Uh, in best case scenario where the bull has started today already, uh, you can only go to maximum minus 60% undervaluation. So, so it means that the kind of undervaluation you see in this bear market is comparable to the first bear market and so uh, yeah, undervaluation is not going up over time anymore. Um, and, and, and it's not even going to be equal to the previous bear market. It cannot reach these levels or very, very difficult uh, in a sideways movement because it wouldn't be per definition a sideways movement like here where it's creeping up. It would be, in fact, a sideways fiat movement uh, where we see still prices coming back of 3K uh, and 100 for Bitcoin Cash and uh, uh, 100 for Ethereum. Uh, 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 that only then we would reach an undervaluation comparable to previous bear market in a sideways movement. But it is more likely that actually, since growth is going down over time, huh, the growth is much slower here than here, huh, that we do, and since market cycles become longer over time. Huh, it's much more likely that this bear market will like take, end up taking one and a half year, or maybe even a little bit more, 1.7 or even up to two years, instead of only one year, what we saw. It's also more likely that the price will go, will, will, will go further away from the trend line than here. Um, and then the overall picture of crypto is still, the most fantastic story ever. Uh, even if we do these movements where we find a new low, even then, uh, if crypto continues to follow this trend on over time, we will be at a uh, valuation of, uh, by 2023, of, um, of, uh, uh, 1.5 uh, trillion or so, uh, but we will overshoot it by 300% or so, we will go to uh, 10, 20 trillion. Huh? And that's even if this pattern continues. So uh, I think it's been very important uh, to, 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 to take this into account, to basically work on two scenarios. Uh, uh, make sure you go to majority position on a rather small correction huh? and, and prepare yourself for that position to be not profitable for a long time, even in the best case scenario. But also prepare yourself mentally that this will prove to be a very bad buy in the short term as we go to new a uh, new new lows and and how could that look a new low well, i discussed in previous videos too but i think this is a realistic scenario actually that we see the actual fiat bottom at minus 70 percent and we peak out as minus 80 percent under valuation two three years later three years later actually not two huh? so so um this is just extrapolating previous um uh, trends um, and patterns we will and so we would set the bottom somewhere in the summer of 
2019 or maybe just after the summer in September and trend line is around 280 290 billion then you deduct 70 percent you have a new low of 80 billion not 50 billion that's not possible uh, I mean it's possible uh, but it would be an extreme scenario uh, but this is actually probable huh? Uh, and then it's still there is still room to over the two years after to see even higher undervaluation of minus 80 percent but you can't go much higher than that if you extrapolate previous uh, hey you went to a maximum undervaluation here of 50 60 percent here you go to a maximum undervaluation this is 55 of 70 percent so 55 to 70 so you add another 15 percent you go to 85 percent maximum undervaluation huh? but you can't really that's difficult. Huh? Uh, if you do that, go to minus 85%, uh, you, you, you really reach very low prices only in three years huh? because maximum undervaluation is each reached at the end. Okay, this is an outlier, but you see it creeps downwards. Huh? So at the end, you have uh, the, the maximum undervaluation. And so the maximum undervaluation of minus 80% is likely to happen is towards the end. And that's like in three years. Uh, or two and a half years after the bottom, yeah, um, somewhere in 2021, when the trend line has creeped up a lot, but you deduct 80%, you don't have much left, uh, 300 billion, uh, and, and those are prices are lower than the prices of today. Huh? If you go to minus 85%, uh, that's very bad. Uh, of course, these are prices uh, that, that, that are, come, are a lot lower than today. So, 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 but you can't be too pessimistic here. Eh? So you say actually 85 is realistic to be reached, but let's call it 80 in two years. You see that these are the prices after a, a, after a sideways movement uh, that follows a trend line already for two years, you still end up only at these prices. Eh? This is, uh, this is the scenario I think is most likely to happen. And, and if you're only going to be here in two to three years, then also a new bottom is very likely huh? uh, because that means like the, 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 a lot of the bullishness has to disappear from the market uh, and, and a lot of the buy support has to disappear to only reach these prices. That means you do need to set a new low and it is actually, it could be 80 billion, but indeed would also be 70 billion. And if this becomes Minus 80, yeah. you see, it's hard to go lower here, uh, but um, so, so that's why I do still think that we have to be very careful when the new low happens because we will all fear for prices much lower than 80 billion. Once 100 billion breaks, the previous low was 105 billion, 300, 3,150 uh, for Bitcoin. Once these break, People will, will, will predict a much lower bottom, and, and, and but from these numbers, it's, it's almost not possible because undervaluation will become too high. So, 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 so from these numbers, we see that actually the bottom will not be much lower. It could already be reached weeks after 100 breaks, 100 billion breaks, and weeks after, even the same day, even two, three days later, that 3,150 breaks, we might see this price as the bottom. For Bitcoin Cash and for Ethereum, uh, and for the total market cap, and then and then go back up. Uh, and so many people will, of course, miss this bottom because everybody will expect 50 billion uh, and a price of 2,500 or 1,900 for Bitcoin once once 3,150 breaks. But from these numbers, it looks like that's not probable. But what is very important um, is to buy it, and so. Uh, that's my plan, and um, but the, what I follow is not prices. I will buy based on the valuation, and my goal is to be 100% invested in crypto when we reach minus 80%. But I don't know when that is. That could be indeed only in 2021 when we make a last leg down uh, and test these prices. But it could also be in the best case scenario. Uh, sorry, it could also be that we reach minus 80% already here. 
if we do go to 50 billion, then I will also go 100% invested because that's an extreme scenario. Very, it's unlikely to happen. And if it happens, many people will say that it's evidence that crypto has failed and now we go to below 1,000, but that's actually an extreme scenario that we would reach 1,830 for Ethereum. And you do want to go all in then because uh, that's very likely you're going to sit on, on, on major profits very, very quickly. But it's not likely that we will see this. Uh, this is much more likely that we will see this uh, and, uh, and, and that we see minus 80% undervaluation only two years or three years later. So, um, yeah, most important thing. Uh, I think uh, I, I, I want to thank all of you for the great comments I get on Twitter and on YouTube. Um, sometimes emotionally it's very hard, this uh, investing. Uh, it really... The, 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 the fear of missing out uh, during run-ups uh, and the, the, the emotional pressure to buy uh, because you're afraid to be left behind is so high that uh, it requires a lot of study of the markets to see if it's smart move to do. So a lot of time, but also like it's really great to have other people share a similar opinion, which is so hard to find in these markets today. Like the idea that there's going to be a new low People are actually laughing with you today, and when you say that, huh? uh, so 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 to 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 find people that 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 share uh, an opinion uh, similar or or at least are responding respectively to it, and give it also in a, a chance helps a lot in, in 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 keeping your conviction. And so thanks so much for uh, some people that really have um, yeah supported me in the last video in the comment section of YouTube. It's really really great and. On Twitter, I have found also uh, some people are still still um, uh, holding that opinion and, and and also supporting it with evidence, and that's really uh, really cool. So thanks so much all, and I wish you a great day.